In this video, we'll talk about factors that affect the rate of transpiration. Factors affecting rate of transpiration. Transpiration, as we have already talked of, is loss of water in the form of water vapor through stomata. So one factor which decides the rate is temperature. Higher the temperature, the rate of transpiration is going to be more. The reason is more water evaporates. So temperature, suppose this is the stomata that we are talking of. This is the inside of the leaf. Here is the parenchyma. And if in this particular region there is accumulation of water vapor and outside is hot condition. So this water is going to be lost immediately due to this hot condition. And here is the xylem. So if this xylem is completely filled with water and say these are the parent diameter cells. So because of higher temperature the water is going to evaporate, more water vapor is going to accumulate here and it is going to be lost. But if temperature becomes very high, that means if we have to just sum up high temperature, high temperature, higher is the rate of transpiration. But if the temperature is very high, this is situation 1. Situation 2, temperature is very high. Then that results into closure of stomata because very high temperature is considered as a stress situation for the plant. And in this extreme condition, there is release of stress hormone that is abscisic acid. So here stomata close due to abscisic acid which is actually trying to preserve or prevent this water loss because if too much water gets lost due to high temperature the plant will undergo dehydration. So to co overcome this stress situation abscisic acid closes stomata. So as temperature increases transpiration increases but at a very high temperature transpiration stops. So here transpiration stops at very high temperature. This is one factor. Second factor is humidity. We know humidity is the water content which is present in the air. Again we will take the same situation. This is the stomatal opening epidermis this is the inner side and this is the outer side here are these parenchymal cells outside when we say humidity is less that means the outer environment is dry and this space around the stomatal aperture is filled with water vapor and water vapor moves from the region of its higher concentration to low. So here it is humid because there is accumulated water vapor. Here it is dry. So water vapor is going to move out. So higher the humidity, faster or slow, sorry, higher the humidity, higher the humidity, slower or lower is going to be the transpiration rate. Lower is transpiration and lower the humidity, lower humidity means the air is going to be dry. If humidity is lower, then faster is transpiration. So humidity also affects the rate of transpiration. Third factor is light. Now light affects this opening and closing of stomata and that is why it affects transpiration also. Now light is not a direct factor affecting transpiration. How does it affect uh, this opening and closing of stomata and indirectly transpiration? 
as light intensity slowly increases. So light intensity increases, photosynthesis, the rate of photosynthesis will also increase. And photosynthesis results in formation of glucose, that is carbohydrate. So in the guard cell, there is now carbohydrate accumulating, that is glucose accumulating. And glucose will create a hypertonic condition in the guard cells. And we know water is going to move from hypo to hyper. That means from subsidiary cells into the guard cells. The guard cells will get turgid and this stoma will be wide open. So stoma wide open means transpiration is going to be faster. So again, as light intensity increases, the rate of transpiration is going to increase because of opening of stomata. But light is not a direct factor as temperature and humidity are, but it is also helping or affecting the rate of transpiration. But if light intensity is too high, then also abscisic acid closes the stomata. But light intensity increases, photosynthesis increases. Due to photosynthesis, glucose accumulation takes place in the guard cells, which favors endoosmosis and opening of stomata takes place. So these are the factors which regulate the rate of